Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Pallero, Pedagogue and Associate Professor at Aai University. For more than 20 years that I have been working in the educational field, it has always been clear to me that those of us who dedicate ourselves to teaching have a lifelong commitment to learning. Life is changed. Education has been demanding changes for years. At Adai University, we understood a long time ago that we were at the time to understand, foresee and manage the urgent and necessary transformation of a new open, flexible, functional, globalizing educational model that integrates the cognitive, emotional and social aspects and that aims decisively at the autonomy and preparation for life of our students. As a result of the work we have been developing for years, our university offers an education based on excellence in any of the training modalities, whether in the classroom, virtual or hybrid format. To cope with these changes, we rely on the combination of the faculty excellence with new technologies as a means to offer the best possible education to our students. We are convinced that there are means at the disposal of learning. They will never be the ultimate goal, but a means to achieve our educational standards. That's why we want our students to control and master the technologies, but not the other way around. In the last years, our university has been committed to a methodological model based on active learning collaborative learning, personalized learning, and applied learning. Therefore, we are in constant search for the best digital resources to support this proposal of liquid learner. Therefore, we use digital resources such as applications, software, programs, or website that engage students in learning activities and support students' learning goals, always bear in mind how they can support our methodology. It is important to have clear learning objectives in order to make use of the most appropriate digital resources in each of the sessions we develop. Because of this, I base my work on a scientific educational model, including six types of learning in which our students learn – acquisition, investigation, discussion, collaboration, practice and production. Learning through acquisition is what learners are doing when they are listening to a lecture or podcast reading from books or websites, watching demos or videos. This is one of the most widely used models to transmit knowledge and requires different digital proposals in order to make the message as attractive as possible and to generate significant learning. In order to maximize our students' learning, we use digital resources that allow us to create content with high visual impact using apps for creating infographics, stimulating presentations and editing high-quality videos. Learning through investigation gets the learner to explore, compare and critique the tests, documents and resources that reflect the concepts and ideas being taught. In order to accompany our students in their research processes, we have technologies that allow us to measure and know what they are in their research in order to provide support through the process. Learning through discussion requires the learner to articulate their ideas and questions and to challenge and respond to the ideas and questions from the teacher and from their peers. There are numerous apps that allow us to increase the discussion time of each of our students, breakout rooms, discussion forums, collaborative debates, and so on. Collaborative learning embraces several types of learning and is one of the main methodologies in our institution in order to generate collaborative learning spaces among peers. For the promotion of collaboration in our classrooms, technology gives us a great support with tools to build together. For this, we use collaborative boards to share ideas, gamification elements to give a tinge of collaboration to our students, websites that allow us to collect, analyze and share the data generated by all the participants through polls, surveys, questionnaires and many other alternatives, and this modality is undoubtedly one of the favorites of our students. Learning through practice enables the learner to adapt their actions to the task goal and use the feedback to improve the next actions. At this point, digital applications become essential to monitor and encourage feedback so students know where they are and the steps to be taken. An old African proverb says that knowledge is just a rumor until it's installed in the muscle. Our session has been designed for students so we can learn to work in a friendly, cooperative and dynamic way to instill the muscles with the necessary knowledge, skills and attitude that we need to successfully face these challenging times. Learning through production is the way the teacher motivates the learner 
to consolidate what they have learned by articulating their current conceptual understanding and how they use it in practice. In this last modality, rather than using digital resources, we teach students to use them for the creation of projects, essays, proposals made by them, which serves to consolidate learning and show evidence of their achievement. Digital resources facilitate learning, enrich the contents, help assimilation, and are presented as the perfect complement for the enrichment of our students' growth. Every day new technological proposals come out, and our commitment is, and will continue to be, the serve for the best solution to give our students the best possible education.